So it seems like you guys want me to pull for Baizu, and I assume that's because he's a healer and we kind of need one of those. But you see, we don't need Baizu as a healer when we have a healer at home. I know having a second healer would be very nice for us, but let's just, you know, take a look at the trial, right? Baizu is Dendro. He can heal. That's, that's cool, I guess. And, uh, he, he does have the shield as well, right? Uh, that's, that's unique. Look, we can do this. And we, we put up a, a shield. And as we all know, Dendro works really well in teams like Bloom and Hyper Bloom, where we're gonna need Hydro anyways. We're going to need Hydro, Dendro, and Electro. And, you know, Hydro, Hy Co Kokomi, Kokomi exists. And then a Hyper Bloom team, you kind of need some Dendro application, which you really won't have if Baizu is off field. The character I would rather have for a healer on a Hyper Bloom team is Kokomi, but it goes a bit even beyond just that. If I just wanted a healer in general, then Kokomi would be better than Baizu because Dendro doesn't synergize with as many different elements. Of course, that means that we have to wait for a Kokomi rerun, but if I'm being honest, I would rather do that than pull for Baizu. If you like Baizu as a character, that is perfectly fine. It's just that personally, I really don't see a reason to pull for him. Other than, you know, the fact that he is a Catalyst character and this is spells only. But as I said, I would much rather just wait for Kokomi. So probably to the disappointment of a lot of you, I am not going to be pulling on his banner. Basically right now, without a Kokomi, this is the Hyper Bloom team I would run. I need Mona here so we have some form of off-field Hydro application. And then of course, Barbara is here as the healer. Then I think it's pretty obvious why we have Yaimiko and Nahida on the team. For for some reason, Mona's E doesn't actually tell you how long it stays up for, but if we use it here, it's about 5 or 6 seconds, and Kokomi's E stays up for 12 seconds, so about double the time. That makes Kokomi a much better Hydro Applier for this team. So no matter what, we would be putting Kokomi on the Hyper Bloom team, meaning that Baizu would go on this side, which would make no sense, because Dendro and Animo it's just, it doesn't do anything. And for the time being, Hazel is going to be the main DPS kind of of the second half. I guess the TLDR is I really just can't justify pulling for Baizu. But like I said, once we do get a Kokomi, assuming she eventually gets a rerun and we don't have another Eula situation, then Barbara is going to be moved over to the second team regardless, so she'll still be useful. It's kind of sad because Barbara was one of our first Catalyst characters, but her build is a... Uh, well, it's not great. Surprisingly though, we did get a little lucky and we got three boss drops from both of our attempts. That means now all we need are a couple more gemstones and then some of these Samatrail drops. Now I do believe we should be able to craft up just enough of those, which is really good because I don't have any more of the star glitter or dust. I can never remember which is which. It is star dust and I couldn't have bought any more of these because I don't have any of it, which means the only way I could have crafted up more was if I did some wishes. And the whole point of what we're doing is that we're not doing wishes. So that would have been a little counterintuitive. Also, I have no idea why I just ran away from the crafting table. We need 18 of these little guys because now with some more of these sandwich drops crafted up, we can max ascend Barbara. I guess that means we now just go ahead and dump whatever we have into her Ta talents. Oh, okay. Um, I, I need to do some crafting. Can I make any symmetry draw? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, we, we could definitely just spare, I don't know, a couple of them. We'll just make a nice 78. Yeah, that seems good to me. Gets the burst up to level nine and then we need more purple ones. I guess I might actually have to go kill this guy again. I can't remember the last time I've done that, especially on this account. But with what we currently have, we were able to get the skill up to level 8 and the burst up to level 10. Now allow me to just quickly go and beat up Razor's dad. And using the Yaimiko that we built up in the last episode, finally, this is actually a pretty easy fight. I probably shouldn't be too proud of that though, because it's not meant to be a super challenging fight. Though to be fair, Hyper Bloom makes most things in the game pretty easy. Oh, oh, this, this is a really good drop. Got a catalyst blueprint. We got dream solvent double drops. Now it's time for something that I probably shouldn't do, but I really won't be able to use Barbara to her full potential if I don't do it. And that of course is some good old artifact farming. I'm really hoping this domain isn't too much of a problem for us on here. I guess the only downside to farming this domain is we really have no use for the other artifacts at the drops. The best thing that we can do with it is just shove it in the strong box and get something else. 
All we're really looking for in here is HP percent, healing bonus, and that, that's that's pretty much it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we're looking for this set, not this one. And in case you're wondering why I'm able to get double artifact drops right now, I kind of have this event going on because I, I didn't log in for two weeks. But you see, I have an excuse because one of those weeks I was away. And the other week, I, um... Well, there's no need to dwell on the past. Let's go HP per hydro damage. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not going to help us. I mean, the artifact was pretty bad, but just the hydro damage main stat is okay. I'm basically just huffing a lot of copium. And okay, okay, we did get one on the third attempt. Elemental mastery, not what I'm hoping for. Oh, you know what I was about to try and do? I was about to go and click the auto button in the top right so I would just sit here while it farmed for me. But this is not Honkai Star Rail. I think I'm getting a little too used to the conveniences in that game. Run number four is completely useless. Any better luck on run number five? Oh, oh yes, yes, oh, everything. Everything is ocean hued clam. We like to see that. I would like to see HP percent. Okay, we, we could use that. Now, what about these H? Oh, HP percent. Yes. Okay, good. Don't mind if I do. So now we're just kind of rolling for better pieces. I think this is run number seven and it's not looking too lucky. And run number eight gives us not what we're looking for. Uh, well, well, yes, this is this is like exactly what I want, but on this set. Now, when it comes to weapons, I actually feel like giving her prototype Amber for the time being is better because the Thrilling Tales buff isn't really going to help with Hyper Bloom, and this will just give us more HP, therefore more healing. We can use the Thrilling Tales on whatever healer we end up using on the Hazo team instead, but I feel like for right now, this is a better option. Come on, Sucrose, give me two. Give me two, you're always just one short. Although I can't be too mad because I did just craft up a bunch of this one and she gave me like seven doubles within 40. I think she just gets nervous whenever I craft higher level materials and then her passive doesn't proc or something like that. I'd like to say that with all the upgrades we've done, we should clear this domain faster. But in the grand scheme of things, the bubble proccing from Ocean Hued Clam Set is not going to be doing much when compared to Hyper Bloom damage. So unfortunately, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to tell the difference. Come on, healing bonus HP. Healing no... Okay. Why is it that the Husk of Opulent Dreams is giving me the main stats that I want? If RNG can just kindly swap those around, I would much appreciate it. Gosh, Hyper Bloom is just so satisfying. Let's actually see how much damage our bubble procs for on the burst. Although I think it already went off. Okay, we'll test that out next time. Show me something good. Okay, or, or don't. All right, it's bubble popping time. Let's see, how much does this do? Show me the da damage. I don't think that was it. I saw a 5k, but that's less than when I used my skills, so I think I missed it again. I didn't think it'd be possible to be bad at using the Ocean Hued Clam Set because it is literally the easiest thing to use. You just heal. And, and that's it. That's literally all you do. How is it that I can't even perform a damage test of that? Okay, here we go. Attempt number three. I saw a 9k, but that, that seems pretty low. Okay, 21k. That's better. This is our last chance for a good artifact. Can we see healing bonus with HP? person nope okay so i know that these artifacts are not completely maxed out but that's because i feel we could get some that are a little bit better and then we could just dump these into those if we do end up getting them but we are now sitting at 34 000 hp which really doesn't seem that high like that really doesn't seem that high for being triple hp percent with an hp percent weapon i think feel like that should be much higher. Plus, we're running Hydro Resonance right now. Okay, I did go through and max out all of her artifacts, and we're only at 36k. Am I crazy, or is that just really low? I mean, of course, yes, if we level her up here, she does get like 200? Yeah, about 200 HP. But even at max level, she's not hitting 40k. But you know what? Her heal seems to do a decent amount of damage. So as long as she can survive, that's good enough for me. I am very sad right now. I was crafting up some strong box pieces for the Crimson Witch of Flames because it's really the only one in the strong box that would be kind of useful for us. And I got 
a pretty good hotel piece, but I can't use a hotel on this account. I so wish that I could transfer that over to my main. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I didn't think that was actually going to roll like that. Do it again. One more time. No, oh, it was so close. The problem is if we run that piece, we're not looking so good in the crit rate department. Though I am curious if we are to crit and vaporize, what kind of damage are we looking at? Eh, oh. Well, I was about to see, and then the icy ground killed her. All right, cool. No pun intended. Trying to get a damage test on Yanfei is actually annoying because you need to attack with her first to build up her seals and then do an attack, which means trying to get Thrilling Tails and the Hydro application and the swirls at the same time is not fun. All right, let's see. Boom. 20, 27, that's it. I would find it very hard to believe that 27k is the highest we could hit. Come on, crit, crit, crit. crit. Okay, it doesn't even matter at that point. There's a 30k. I still know it could be much more than that. Oh, I also have to factor in the Widsith buff. All right, let's give it a shot. Cryo this time. 42k. I feel like we could hit higher. Just for the sake of science, let's swap all of this stuff over to Klee and see what kind of damage we're looking at. All right, charged attack. 43k without really anything. That didn't use Thrilling Tails or the Weed Sith, and it was a Vaporize, not a Melt. What are Yanfei's talents? Six. It could be a lot higher, don't get me wrong, but I still feel like we should be seeing higher damage. Okay, charge attack. Not not a crit. That's that's fine because now the, the cryo application is gone and we suffer in sadness. Attempt number 2468. This time for sure. We do... Oh, we didn't, we didn't get the cryo. Okay, took us too long. One of these times I'm gonna get it. Swirl cryo and we crit. We don't crit. Oh, that's, that's great. It only took me like 30 or 40 minutes to get all the stars to align for that attempt. But I think I have a better hang of it now. We run in. We throw three of those. Then we swirl. Wait a second. We throw down that. Swap to Yanfei. Try to break the core. We break the core. We swap back to Klee. We do a charged attack. Okay, we don't crit again. At this point, Mona is literally here just as a cheerleader. In fact, if we really want to go above and beyond, we can add Nahida to the team just to use her burst to get an EM buff. And between every attempt, I just have to run around up here and wait for the Wood Sith's passive to regen. I think we should be good now. One, two, three, E. Wait a second, throw down the Q. We don't die. Okay, good, we get the buff. We put this up, cryo is applied. We charge attack and crit? <sighs> that feels more like about a 2% chance. I think it's about time we do a bit of cheating and boost our crit rate by 20%. So now it's a 61.9% chance. And also we're just forfeiting the Nahida thing because it makes it way too complicated. Okay, everything's looking good except that it swirled Pyro instead of Cryo. I take it back. Everything is... You know what? This video is not even supposed to be about a damage test. This time, for sure, there's no way we could possibly mess it up. It's... There's just, there's just no chance. Oh. Oh, I already messed it up. And we didn't crit. I was supposed to swap back to Klee after Nahida to get the Thrilling Tales bonus, and I didn't. Here we go. Crit. 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 Crrr. 77k. Ah. I can't really say that was a good use of my time. So how about we have a Barbara Bubble Showcase instead? We'll see just how much she can do with her new set equipped. A seed burst gives us 18k. Not bad. Just using normal attacks with her E can give us up to 17k. That, that, no, there's no way. I think that some of that carried over from the burst. Look at her. Go. Another 30. Okay, maybe it was just from the normal attacks. Now it seems like a round 14k is what we get from the elemental skill plus normal attacks. It is such a nice artifact set to have because Barbara is doing almost no damage, but because of the bubbles popping, she's able to take down this boss by herself. As you may be able to tell by my voice, today is a new day and that means more resin. So I figure we're going to go into one of my least favorite domains to see if we can get some more of the talent level books. Although to be fair, I don't think we're going to be getting 12 of the highest tiered ones, especially because I'm kind of expecting myself to not want to do this more than one time. Uh, yep. 
Yeah, let the pain begin. I think this is the one domain that is the worst to bring Barbara into. It still amazes me that they were able to create such an annoying place that you have to farm. Like, they did a really good job at making this place suck. Okay, we were able to beat it one time in almost three minutes. Maybe it would be worth bringing in the other team. We did get a gold, though. All right. Let's hope this goes just, you know, it's just slightly better. The funny thing is a shield would be nice in here, but we're skipping the one character that would give us a shield because we don't have Yanfei's constellation. So kind of ironic that as we're building up Barbara, the character that we're building instead of Baizu, I feel like I need a Baizu, but I don't think it's worth pulling the character just to have him in this one domain. Yeah, I, I would say that's a little bit quicker. Shaved off an entire minute. And Klee is nice in here. Be oh, another gold. Klee's nice in here because she gets her little explosive spark, which lets you do a charge attack for zero stamina, which is really good in a place that takes away all of your stamina. I actually wouldn't mind have... Wait, let me see. Oh, we're only one constellation away from getting the shield. If we can get that, I actually think I'm going to build Yanfei as a shielder. Then Klee can be the pyro DPS and Yanfei will just be support. I really don't think that they could ever make a more annoying domain than this one. They set the bar way too high for themselves. Another gold? I still don't think we're gonna make it up to 12 within one more run. That, I mean, that'd be pretty impressive if we could do that. Look, I, I know I complain a lot, but I think we can all agree that complaining in this domain is very much justified. I think that I am going to use one fragile resin because that gives us 60 resin, I think. That is probably something I should know. But then because of this returning player event thing, we can get three runs of basically condensed resin out of it. Not that I really want to do three more runs in this place, but I think we should. It is nice having Barbara where she can actually heal up my team to full HP for once. She used to only heal about half health if we were lucky. Speaking of being lucky, even though this domain is absolutely terrible to run it is giving us pretty decent drops every time except for one we've gotten a gold at least they're making it worth our time and it continues maybe with some crafting we actually will be able to level up that talent in the final run doesn't give us gold well out of seven runs we got five golds so i would consider that pretty lucky and surprisingly we can go ahead and craft them up, which means Barber's skill can now be brought up to level 9. Well, I'm pretty happy with the progress that we've made in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and with that being said, I will see you all next time.